Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I see a lot of little questions every day about how to make an aloe vera gel. So in this video, I'm going to answer some of those questions, and I'm also gonna show you how to make a beautiful, silky, absolutely non-tacky, organic aloe vera gel. Now, the first thing I want to explain is that you shouldn't just be plucking aloe vera from your garden and using that to sell commercially. While you can definitely use the gel directly from the plant for all of its amazing benefits, you will also notice it is a bit tacky. But if you are going to use it from your plant, please stick to your own home and personal use. When you want to start selling an organic aloe vera gel, you'll need to make sure it's preserved properly, and that's to protect your consumers. Now in this organic aloe vera gel, I'm using nature identical preservatives to give it a really good shelf life. I'm also going to make a beautifully clear and viscous organic aloe vera gel using some really simple materials. So let's talk through the calculations and then I'll show you how to put it together. Now one of the first things you need to do when you're using an organic aloe vera gel concentrate is reconstitute it. Now in my formula, I'm using a 200 times concentrate. So what you need to do is work out the water component of your formula then divide that by 200, and that will give you the amount of aloe 200 times concentrate to use. Similarly, if you were using a 100 times concentrate, you would divide the water portion by 100, and that would give you the aloe portion. Then you just subtract your aloe portion from the water, and you'll have your total reconstituted aloe content. And this is important for your ingredient list. You can use the reconstituted amount. Now also when preparing an organic product to Cosmos standards, reconstituting the aloe vera is important. It must be your very first step before you add any other materials. So let me show you how to put this formula together. This is my aloe vera portion here. So I'm just going to add that in and then give it a really good stir to combine. Even if I was making an emulsion using reconstituted organic aloe vera juice, I would still need to make this the first step of my formula. Now to gel this product, like you see here, I'm just going to use some high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. And this also helps the product really deliver on moisture protection and of course the soothing benefits of that aloe vera plant. Now when you're adding your high molecular weight hyaluronic acid, don't worry if it looks a bit clumpy, just like you see here. The hyaluronic acid will hydrate and swell to form a nice even gel. If you saw this type of consistency using a natural gum, you'd need to throw it out and start again. But the hyaluronic acid will fully hydrate. So don't panic if your mixture looks like this when you first add that high molecular weight sodium hyaluronate. And of course, you can look at my hyaluronic acid video to learn more about the different molecular weights and forms of hyaluronic acid. Now, even before that's fully hydrated, I can then add my preservative. Check and adjust pH. and I've got my hyaluronic acid gel. Now don't worry if you make it, it still looks a little clumpy. Within just a few hours, that hyaluronic acid will hydrate out fully and you'll be left with this beautiful, viscous and totally transparent aloe vera gel. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to put together an organic aloe vera gel. Just remember you need to use a high molecular weight hyaluronic acid to get this gel structure, but of course it provides extra benefits to your organic formula. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please have any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.